You're listening to Vaquero News, the Valley Student Station. Good afternoon, Vaqueros. It is Monday, February 14th, 2022, 11.47 a.m. It is currently 64 degrees outside, and we're coming to you live from our Edinburgh studio. I'm Rodolfo Alvarado, and you're listening to Vaquero Radio. On top of our newscast this week, Texas Governor Candidate Joy Diaz paid a visit to our campus last Tuesday for the Civic Engagement Alliance's Meet the Candidate event. Here's a recap. The Civic Engagement Alliance held the Meet the Candidate series event last Tuesday at the Student Union Theater, where Texas Governor Candidate Joy Diaz was invited to answer questions from the UTRGV community. After arriving a little later than scheduled, Diaz introduced herself as one of the six Democratic candidates running for Texas governor. She explained how she was born in the U.S., but was raised in Mexico City, where she traveled to and from the U.S., along with her parents due to their work as missionaries in the area. Diaz explained why she's running for the governor position during her introduction. I am running because I truly believe that the office of the governor is the office of public servant number one. And I believe that the man who is in charge of the state right now has forgotten that his job is to serve you and to serve me. Once she finished her introduction, Diaz was asked questions from members of the Civic Engagement Alliance. A question that Diaz was asked was what kind of support she would give in order to spread awareness of diabetes and lower the risk for future generations. Diaz had this to say. That's the challenge. When you have something that is preventable, why do we wait until we have to amputate someone's limbs uh, to act? Stand Medicaid on day one. That's what we're going to do. Border security was another topic talked about during the question portion. Diaz was asked as governor how she would address border security. She responded with this. I love the border and I never felt unsafe. To this day, I don't feel unsafe. Diaz explained that to really make the border communities thrive, one must ask what they need, and according to her, a border wall almost never comes up when asked. To watch the Meet the Candidate series event with Joy Diaz in its entirety, visit the UTRGV Student Life Facebook page. The next Meet the Candidate series event will be held at 12.30 p.m. this Friday the 18th at the Student Union Theater with Texas Governor Candidate Beto O'Rourke. This is Rodolfo Alvarado for Vaquero Radio. SGA held their weekly general meeting where they discussed possible changes happening in their organization. Here's Felix Balderas with more. The Student Government Association held their general meeting this past Tuesday to discuss changes in their constitution and possible reform in the SGA. Student body president for the SGA, Jose Pablo Rojas, utmost priority is to ensure student success in our community. However, according to Rojas, there were some issues that he needed to address. We really wanted to focus on affordability, Another one is uh, ensure more representation and also inclusion in regards to diversity. During the general meeting, they addressed an issue with continuity regarding the student body president's position and discussed an amendment that would have the position be filled and never empty. The amendment passed. Another topic was the constitutional convention vote. According to Rojas, the vote talks about reforming the organization by changing the constitution, how they are going to be processed and developed. SGA is letting the student body vote on the reforms, which will occur from February 28th to March 2nd. Students are voting for or against the changes, which include lowering the eligibility requirements for the senators, lowering the 2.5 GPA requirement, and the removal of location-based requirements due to difficulty maintaining membership. Rojas had this to say about the vote. If they feel like they don't care about it, I would suggest to get informed and start caring because they will, this will completely change the structure of their representation here at the university. Rojas continues. Um, another one of the issues that the student body faces is affordability. So we're actually working on, uh, we've been working on it since the summer, trying to prompt OER uh, into the courses. OER stands for Open Educational Resources, like online books that can have a financial strain on students. The implementation of hybrid courses is also something that SGA is addressing in order to improve students' access to courses. Rojas directs students to address fundamental problems that they may have to SGA in order to address these issues on campus, get informed, and vote. The next SGA meeting will be on February 23rd, 22nd, and you can attend via Zoom, Facebook Live, or in person. For more information on the meeting, visit the Relink page. This is Felix Valderas with Vaquero Radio. And now it's time for COVID updates. 
According to the Cameron County Public Health website, as of February 11th, there have been 164 confirmed COVID cases, bumping the total number of confirmed cases to 71,332. According to Hidalgo County's website, as of today, I'm sorry, not today, I apologize, as of February 10th, excuse me, 106 cases were confirmed, bringing up the total confirmed count to 7 97,714. Please stay safe and continue to take the necessary precautions to prevent testing positive for COVID. And now for this week's event calendar. And now it's time for the events. Today, Vaquero Radio will be holding our Will You Be My Valentine's Day event from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., where you can get a rose, a donut, t-shirts, and more. The Student Involvement Fair will be held 12, from 12 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. Wednesday at the B-Main Courtyard in the Brownsville campus, and from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Thursday, the Involvement Fair on the Edinburgh campus will take place on Chapel Lawn. Lastly, the Civic Engagement Alliance will hold their Meet the Candidate series event with Beto O'Rourke at 12.30 p.m. Friday in the Student Union Theater. That, that concludes this week's events. Now for this week's campus weather report. And here's the weather according to the National Weather Service office located in Brownsville, Texas. This week is looking to be a little warmer than last week's cold temperatures. In Edinburgh, today will be sunny with a high near 70. Tuesday will be sunny with a high near 76. And Wednesday will be sunny with a high near 82 with gusts near 33 miles per hour. And Thursday will be sunny with a high near 81 and gusts up to 26 miles per hour. Finally, Friday will cool back down with a sunny high near 63. In Brownsville, today will be sunny with a high near 67. Tuesday will be mostly sunny with a high near 74, with gusts up to 23 miles per hour. Wednesday will be sunny with a high near 78, with gusts up to 33 miles per hour. And Thursday will have a high near 79. Friday will be mostly sunny with a high near 60. That wraps it up for this week's weather. And that's it for this week's newscast. Be sure to tune in next week and make sure to download the Radio FX app and listen to Vaquero Radio, the Valley Student Station. Until next time, this is Rodolfo Alvarado. Have a pleasant week. This has been Vaquero Radio News.